Hey, Casey, don't get so excited. Greg Hadley said he'd have the living will drawn up as soon as he can. I need this thing settled right away. And you gotta promise me that you won't tell your mother. I've been having a hell of a time keeping my lunch down. They're gonna start feeding me by IV now. Headaches are getting worse. And when I tried to go to sleep a little while ago, I woke up and I... I didn't know where the hell I was. Have you told Dr. Purcell this? No, I couldn't. While I was in the room when he examined me, you better go get him. Sure, I'll be right back. Hey, how's he doing? Go get Dr. Purcell right away. Look, uh, you know, Casey, you've been reading up on encephalitis, and so maybe sometimes your imagination just takes you away. And... Come on, Margo, you know me better than that. You think I sit around here thinking up the worst? I sit here and I stare at that picture of my girls, and I, I'm doing my damnedest to get over this thing, but I, I can't ignore the symptoms. And you gotta promise me not to tell my mother. Don't tell your mother. All right, all right. I promise. If you don't want to know, I won't tell her. Casey, Bill's gone home, but he's being called in. Margaret, would you mind standing outside, please? Thank you. What's the story? Casey thinks his symptoms are getting worse, so... Look, Duke, I, I need you to intercept Mom, you know? Just don't let her get here to say goodbye. Just get her home and tell her he's sleeping or something. Just Margo, don't say anything about do that. this. I don't know. It's what Casey wants. I promised him. Okay. Duke. So Casey thinks his symptoms are getting worse, and he wants the living will executed right away. I'm glad Dr. Purcell's in there. So I guess Duke got Mama and Kate home, all right. I hope you're doing the right thing, keeping this from Lila. Tom I had to do what Casey wanted. And, you know, if you had been in there and he had asked you, you'd have gone along with it, too. Maybe. So when do you think that uh, Greg will get the living will done? Honey, I don't know. I left a message on his service to get back to me with Jess in New York. I know he's really snowed under. Look, I got to get something to eat. Do you want something? Margo, I think that somebody should call Bob and tell him about Casey. Yeah, I think you're right. <sighs> Look, um, this is a little embarrassing. I, uh, I just tried to call Bob at home, and Kim picked up, and like a fool, I hung up. I didn't know Kim was back. I didn't either. Anyway, I think somebody should call him, because I, I'm sure that he would want to know. Yeah. You know, Susan, I know that this is none of my business and there's no reason that I should be talking to you about it, but I just think I should tell you that I've been in your situation. I know how it feels, and I don't blame you for what happened at all. Oh, thank you. That, that helps. Listen, Billy, you put up with a lot from me ever since I got the GBS. I don't want you to hold anything back. No, I'm not going to. All right. I know my symptoms are worse. What do you think it means? I don't know yet. Looks like your breathing hasn't changed. No, I'm having a whale of a time swallowing, and I know that my headache is... Well, you know that could be a reaction to the spinal tap. And your loss of appetite could be caused by stress. Well, your fever's down. Temperature's lowered now, almost normal. That's a good positive sign. Yeah, but I told you, I was really feeling disoriented there for a few minutes, and that's what's really got me worried. Oh, that could be caused by stress, too. Don't worry, we're going to continue to monitor very carefully. So see what if it recurs. What you're saying is, is that I should just wait and see. Mm -hmm. What's happening? We don't know. Dr. Purcell is in there with him. How'd it go with Mama? <sighs> well, I told her... KC was sleeping, like he said. I don't think she suspected anything. And then I went over and picked up Kate at your place and drove them both back home. You know, all the way she kept talking about how she thinks Casey's getting better. Okay, Duke, 
I know you don't like deceiving Mama like this. I don't like it either, but it's what Casey wants. And I think with everything he's been through lately, we ought to honor his wishes. Lisa's staying with Leanne over at your place, and they both asked about Case, too. <sighs> okay, excuse me, I gotta call Bob. Hey, Susan. You know, I think old Case is gonna pull through this. It's gonna be just us three musketeers back in the lab like old times. Right? Oh, hey, Mr. Hughes, uh, there's a call that came in to the main switchboard for you earlier. Uh, thanks, Duke, I got it. Hey, Duke, hey. you might as well know now because you're gonna have to be a witness. Casey wants to draw up a living will. We're trying to get a hold of Greg Hadley now. What's a living will? Uh, it's a legal document that's drawn up that says what kind of medical attention can be given to a patient in the event the patient can no longer make decisions for himself. Guys, isn't that a little extreme? I mean, Casey's gonna pull through this. That's what Casey wants. Are you adamant? Hi. Is there any change? Uh, Dad and Dr. Priscilla are in there right now. Oh, well, uh, I'll stay out here then. I don't want Casey to think we're ganging up on him. I'm gonna get some coffee. Oh, excuse me. I direct my attending physician to withhold or withdraw treatment that serves only to prolong the process of my dying. These instructions apply if I am in a terminal condition, permanently unconscious, or if I am conscious but have irreversible brain damage and will never regain the ability to make decisions and express my wishes. These directions ex express my legal right to refuse treatment under the law of Illinois. Want to add anything else? No, that says it all. Okay, I'll get these to Greg's secretary tomorrow morning. She'll type them up for him and let him have a look at them. I'll get them back over here to you for your final okay, and then I will sign with your power of attorney. Hey, Duke, what's the matter? Come on, it's just a precaution. You know how it works. You prepare for the worst, and then it doesn't happen. Uh, he'll have them here for you sometime tomorrow, and then we'll have Duke and somebody else witness it. Thanks, Tom. It's just one less thing I gotta worry about. Hey, Case, how's it doing? Yeah, the fever's down. Yeah, we're gonna get going so you can get some rest. Thanks for everything, you guys. I'm gonna be right outside, so rest up. Okay. Susan. I really appreciate everything you're doing for Casey. I know. I wish you could talk uh, Duke into going home. Yeah, well, good luck. He's not going anywhere. Night. Case, I just wanted you to know that uh, Duke and I are going to be here all night, so if you need anything, you know, just... Oh, you're looking a little sleepy. <laughs> That's good for you. Yeah, you both got to get some sleep. You got to get up early. Got to get to the hospital in the morning, get to the lab. <laughs> 